Hi everyone. So this video is about art journaling. This is actually messy me prompt number 29 which is mono print and I did not have any supplies for mono print as such. That is why I ended up selecting a single color and used some stamps and some watercolor painting for this prompt. I recently reorganized some of my craft supplies and uh, silicone and wooden stamps and stamp pads were some of those. Um, I have another album which has uh, silicone stamps and this particular basket has mostly the bigger size uh, stamps. So I ended up choosing only the script, stick, um, script stamp and let me tell you that is my favorite. I don't know why, I just love it. I have a hard time using newer designs in stamps, I don't know why. Uh, most of them are florals, but still I just end up using the same and same design. I hope after reorganizing my supplies, I'll uh, start using some of the other designs which I have never used. If you notice, I have uh, applied the ink on the entire stamp almost. But I'm pressing uh, the stamp only where I want the ink to go. So I'm not pressing uh, the stamp on the flowers. I tried a shortcut method of using just markers to um, make some shading on these flowers. However, it did not really work well because the background color of the flowers was quite dark. And that is why later on you will see, I ended up using paints. I mixed white color um, with a bluish green color, teal color. And then after that I have used these markers to make some more shading or just some dots in between.
by no means am i any watercolor artist however i really love using watercolors and any kind of paints and that is why i am just attempting to draw some florals something like roses um in this art journal spread and you can do that as well it need not be perfect you can try to make it perfect you can learn but since you're not selling it it doesn't have to be perfect and remember that practice makes man perfect so give it a try if you love watercolor
i thought of using these pencils around the edges of the coat so that it would seem like it is lifted up a little bit from the busy background and i also tried to use these pencils for shading the leaves however that did not really work out so i just gave it up and later you will see me using these pencils for uh, the edges of the entire journal spread that is what i usually do when i feel like there is something missing uh, on the spread but i don't want to add any more elements on the spread later on you'll see me using some water as well because two of these pencils were water soluble and it really gives a good effect So this is the final spread and I really hope you liked it or were inspired by it. So if you liked it or if you made something similar let me know in the comments below I would love to chat with you. And if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.